Paludi culture is the productive land use of wet and re-wetted peatlands that preserves the peat soil and thereby minimises CO2 emissions and subsidence. Here are 10 Paludi culture plants that you need to know. Alder. Alder trees form a symbiotic relationship with a nitrogen fixing bacteria. Their wood can be used for all sorts of carpentry applications. Bog myrtle. Another amazing nitrogen fixing plant that's a natural insect repellent and can be used to flavour beer. Sedges. There are loads of species of sedge that are specialised to peatlands. Although we might not eat them, they can be a good source of fodder for cattle. Water mint. Mint can be cultivated on peatlands for use in tea. Its flowers are also great for a range of pollinators. Reed. Common reed was traditionally used for thatching roofs. You can also compress reed into insulation blocks. In China, there's a high demand for reed to make paper. Cattail. Cattail, also known as bulrush, has loads of big air spaces in its stems, which help it transport oxygen around its body. These air spaces make it great as a material for insulation bricks. Wild rice. Wild rice is similar to the domesticated variety that most of us know. It's been a vital food plant for First Nations and Indigenous people in North America for thousands of years, for whom it's also of great cultural and historical importance. In the UK, wild rice is being trialled for cultivation on peatlands. Cranberry. Whether you like your cranberries juice, dried, covered in chocolate or with a splash of vodka, we need boggy conditions to grow them in. Sundew. The carnivorous sundew is one of our favourite peat plants, with its bright alien tentacles and delicate white flowers hovering above. Well, it also contains several pharmaceutically important compounds. These compounds have anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties and help treat coughs. And last but not least, sphagnum, aka peat moss. Sphagnum isn't edible itself, but rather you can grow edible plants in sphagnum. Basically, instead of using peat to grow fruit and veg in greenhouses, you use the plant that peat is made of. Growing sphagnum for compost means farmers can earn money from re-wet peatlands and at the same time, divert demand from peat mining. <laughs>